I'm Carly Bacon. And I'm Danielle Weisberg, and we started our company, The Skim, from our living room couch. And now we want to help other female entrepreneurs get their business ideas off the ground. So today we're going to talk to three different companies. We're going to choose one winner, and they're going to get a year of mentorship from the two of us and their very own couch. And here at The Skim, we take elevator pitches pretty seriously and literally. So let's get off the couch. You've got 10 floors, you gotta tell us what your business is. Go for your elevator pitch. Awesome. I would love to tell you a little bit about my baby business, Tot Squad. Did you know that the leading cause of death for children is car accidents? And as many as 90% of baby car seats are incorrectly installed? We offer car seat safety, baby gear cleaning, and stroller repairs. Our vision is to be like the geek squad of the baby industry. We're about to open our first in-store service center with a big box retailer in New York City. Why did you start this? I knew millennials wanted services that would help save them time and frustration so they could do the things that they love. And have you raised capital already? Yes, I've raised about $2 million from wow. angel investors. We've recently been approached by major rideshare companies and rental car agencies to run their car seat cleaning and safety businesses. Please be a hero and help Tot Squad achieve our mission. Okay, that's <laughs> it. Wow, well, this is your floor. Thank you guys. I thought Jennifer was a fantastic presenter. She has stumbled upon combining different services that I think are really taking off. I love that she's sort of connecting the dots on all of them. I mean, it's a really interesting take on the millennial parent, but I don't really know if she needs help. She's kind of gotten past the I was the really impressed that, you know, she'd raised more capital than we raised yeah. um, when we first started. But I think Tot Squad is a business that has a lot of potential. Thank you for having me. So you've got about 10 floors. We're in an elevator. Let's hear your pitch. Uh, this is my dad and I in 1998, shortly before he was paralyzed in a car accident. We were really lucky to have support, and my dad now lives independently. This was us uh, dancing at my wedding two years ago. Most people have no idea it's possible to live a fulfilling life with a disability because life-changing information, products, and services are buried online. AbleDrive is a one-stop platform that delivers disability resources customized to the needs and interests of our users. Together, we can make sure that the one billion people in the world with disabilities and their families have the resources they need to thrive like we did. So one billion people, that's a huge market. Yes. There's nothing else out there. The reason we exist is not because the content isn't there, it's because it's difficult to find. So okay. we're more of the connection engine than creating new things. There we go. We're at your stop. All right, that's thank nice. you ladies. I was impressed by how she took something that was, you know, so devastating and she became a businesswoman through it. Yeah. When she said one billion people, that's huge. I mean, right. like, I think this, we're not necessarily looking to just only advise venture size companies, no. but that is a venture size opportunity. But I felt like I walked away from the pitch a little bit like, wait, what is it that you're creating? Like it wasn't clear, is yeah. it an affiliate business? Well, the biggest negative I saw is that she needs to think bigger. Welcome to our elevator. Thank you. So we started this game from our couch, and now we want to help other entrepreneurs get off their couch. So you've got 10 floors. Let's go. Let's hear your idea. Have you ever experienced the dreaded... <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. You're good. All right. Have you ever experienced the dreaded balancing act of trying to paint your nails on the go or on your bed only to spill your polish everywhere? Yes. That's why I created Polish Pal, the first patented... <laughs> the that's why I created Polish Pal, the first patented wearable nail polish holder that allows users to paint their nails anywhere without a flat surface. Polish Pal is versatile and comes in a variety of colors. You can be worn on top of your hand or in the palm of your hand. Can I try it? Yeah. <laughs> so I just do like that? Yeah. Wow. What do you think? 
It's utility patented as well. I got my patent in December 2015 and been kind of doing it ever since. I actually just got two vendor agreements with uh, uh, Forever 21 and Urban Outfitters. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, so, That's great. Um, I need connections and I need a little bit of mentorship. Oh, oh that's, that's it. it. Floor. We're at your stop. Oh, thank you. I will say I really like the product itself and I would totally use it. I think I also totally have flashbacks of my mom screaming at me. I do shoot with I red nail, nail polish. polish I, remember, on my, like, I remember white comforter. the stain on my white comforter Same. with red nail polish. It's definitely like the impulse buy. And I think that there is a huge skill game there. I thought it was interesting that she said what she wanted to use us for was connections because I don't know if that's the best use of our time with her mm -hmm. and what we can offer the most, but I also think, I don't know if that's what she needs. This is tough. It is, but I think we've got some great people, great business ideas. There are a lot of different origin stories in this one, a lot of different businesses, and a lot of different ways to think about how they're going to evolve. All right, I think we're on the same page. I think we got it. Let's do it. Jen, Tot Squad is a fantastic idea. Millennials really like to spend on experiences. At the same time, millennials are making 20% less than their parents at the same stage. So we really want you to take a deeper dive into some of those statistics around spend and around services that parents would pay for and whether that's recurring or not. Thank you, I appreciate that. Brittany, your story really touched us. You took something that was a tragedy and you enabled it to help you become a businesswoman. Our biggest piece of feedback is we want to make sure you know what you you want this to become. Is this a social enterprise? Is this a B2B play? Is this an affiliate business? You also need to decide, is this um, a content business? Cool, thank you. Alex, we love the product. You hit the nail on the head of what the need is. I visualize your product in drugstores. I visualize it in all the major makeup and beauty retailers. What needs to really emanate from you is confidence and you need to know this pitch inside and out, and you need to be able to know how to recover when you get flustered. And so that's the biggest piece of advice we would give to you, is to really um, hone that confidence. Thank you. So all of you should be so proud. This was the hardest one for us to judge, and congratulations to Brittany, who is getting off the couch. Come on in, Come Brittany. on in. Thank you. We're so happy to have you. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats. Going up. Thank you. Great, going up.